hey guys welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you guys how i designed a real estate website so so this is how the site is going to look like basically um you can actually um post an apartment um for people to invest in it also if you want so you can take a look of how the site looks like so if you're interested in starting up a real estate business you can just decide to just come up with something like this so because users can also create accounts if they insist in doing that so you can also register for creating an account then um just um invest in one of the um real estate business or, or anyone you feel like doing so um i'm going to show you how you can set this up within few steps very simple and easy i'm going to take you anything so let's get started so in order for us to do this um first and first we need to get some things in place so what we need to put in place is we need to get a domain and hosting which i already have um a domain and hosting already so if this is your first time watching my video um also please don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel for more videos and you can also um hit the the bell icon there to get notified whenever i upload new videos so once you're in the same page with me but if you don't understand how i got to this page uh, you can watch some of my previous video or you can go to youtube and search on uh, how to um, get a domain and hosting from any host or domain provider to be precise also you can check the description link below you are going to um, find out about um, you can see a link in which you can use in getting a domain from um, Harmony uh, that by the way so let's continue from where we stop so um, I already have a domain already so the next thing I'm going to do is just click on this which is our file manager so I'm going to the domain I have already so I'm just going to click on public underscore html so once you don't click on a public underscore html and this is where you upload your code you get so this is where you upload your code so I already have a lot of files here so I'm going to do that I'm going to upload any code here right because I already have a lot of file an existing code here right? so I'm go I created a subdomain which is this and that is what I'm going to be using so you can actually just upload your file in the public underscore html and you're good to go so once you're done with that um, you can delete everything once you log into your public underscore html you can just delete every file you see in there and the next thing you upload this particular file I'm about to upload right now so you click here I'm about to upload a particular file so I'm about to upload a particular file right so so this or this yeah basically I'm going to upload one of these I'm going to upload this so both are the same so I'm um, going to hold for a sec or I think one or two minutes once it's upload we continue so basically we don't upload in file so we're just going to go back extract the file just hold on a sec for the file to okay we don't extract in file reload the page delete this this is called documentation but i don't think we need that Select all file, move the file to your public underscore HTML folder, which I'm moving mine to this folder. So the next we already have all this file here. Yeah? Don't forget to check if your your showing file is visible. So we have all this file here. Yeah? So the next thing for us to do now is for us to just copy this link, open a new browser, search. and slash install right so it's going to show this you're going to agree now you can see 
all these need permissions so first we need core bootstrap catch second one core storage right third one is app so we have we do one after the other so avoid making mistake so we have this so we change this permission to 775 right which is for the catch right so next one is storage right so we're going to go back to 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 storage right click change permission for the storage yeah we don't need that oh so so next one is app so we'll go back here so we'll check if we have um core app yeah so we have core app here so the next one is framework storage from a story log so we in storage framework and storage log right so we're done for this 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 and this so we just have to reload the page to confirm and see we see have called storage app so that was what I was going to observe Oh, storage app so wasn't this initially to change to this right so you can see they said um php version and um, motivate point one and our file info pp extension is required so we'll go back So in case you missed um, anything why we were doing the video, um, please, we, the only thing we did was to um, um, give permission to these files, which uh, are here. we give permission to this file, which is the um the storage file and um, the app framework and log and how did we do that we changed it to 0775 permission right initially it was 0755 so to change this you just click here and change permission in case you miss anything at all so once you're done with that we checked and everything was perfectly all right so the next thing for us to do was to so asking for a particular file extension that we checked our php version change it to 8.1 and then we create a database right for mysql databases so when we're done creating database just click here and create database so we don't create database already so um the next thing for us to do now is for us to go back here and this is the name of our website right so we're just going to have existing database so so we um we don't so we just click on install and see so hold on a sec for it to install so we've completely installed this website so we can go to the website and see how it looks like for a start so so this is how the website looks like after installing the website you can see how it looks like you can see looks like the exact one we just showed when we started the video so basically um this is how to start um build an investment website um real estate website so you can just create this few step following this step so we can also register and sign up in the sites uh, i'm just going to use any username i'm going to use any random email and details So I'm going to policy and I'm going to click on register. So you can see 
we are in the next page of registration you just suggest to just uh, input some basic details so you just click on submit so from this we are in the website right so basically we're already in the website basically you can see how it looks like um now you can click here to check properties so this is where your property is going to uh, up, um, show if we have any property so currently we don't have any property here so all we need to do is for us to visit the admin and see how um to add properties to this website and also please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel so you encourage me to do more of these kind of videos and also i give out source code for free um if you can just help me with some little tax uh also i want to uh, notice we don't have a good amount of watch hour and um subscribers i would like us to um, do more about that and uh you guys are going to benefit by getting free more um source code for free so you can also check the description link below to um, get your hosting and domain if you want to so we can now uh, proceed to log into the admin so in order for us to log into the admin all we just need to do is to just take off this and type admin all right so once we're done with that if you recall um i think this is what we use by default so we oops looks like um that's not what we use um when signing we use this i think we use admin also admin. so we just have to check and see right so we are in the website basically these are cone job script we are not going to enter with that currently right now so i just want to show you how the user dashboard look like so this is user dashboard so basically you can do a lot of things with this user dashboard this is where you um check the statistics of your website how good your website is operating you can also add seo and so on and so forth so you can change the logo here we do this one after the others so you change the logo here if you want to change the logo you can um also um change the investment uh, plan for each real estate make instrumental or make it complete investments um etc oh. so you can actually manage properties here yeah? this way you manage all properties um currently without any properties so you can add properties here yeah, if you want to add properties now oh, we can do that by uploading the image of the property you want to add the name and um um select um, the location of the property and the URL on the map if you want to do that then you can upload several images of, of the properties here as many images possible you will feel like upload you can upload them here so a brief description about the property you can also um put that here so um manage time and rest you can add the time period you want the property to um stay online on your platform yeah and so on and so on so you can manage users so you users can actually register into your platform which is your real estate website to keep track of our basic information like knowing when things are, 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 are new is coming up and so on and so forth user can also verify and do other stuff also have payment gateway we means in which users can make payments you can make them automatic and also you can make them manual so basically making them automatic it's it if if you actually integrate using a um, float away or or, or com finance or coin anything that all by using the api to integrate the accounts with them and implementing the implementing it here it's kind of very easy once you just get your api um you're going to, you're going to give you your secret key or private key then you just click on edit and the particular one you want to edit then you you just have to paste them look at the api key and this basically so um that's that about that manual payment you can add manual payment yourself the main thing you make you want them to pay maybe transfer or etc basically so there is an original uh, a particular user can actually deposit by investing in plan and if there's a profit the user can actually withdraw if there's no profit the user can actually also actually withdraw we also have support ticket and report that is when somebody um, um you know when somebody make a complaint you can actually answer the support here so we have a lot of things refer bonus on your rest so you can set this to your preferred test so basically that's how the site totally basically works and you can post as many houses as possible you want to post you can make it for sale you can make it for rent you can do a lot of things with this particular website so um please don't forget to like this video watch 
from start to the end also like and subscribe to the channel click the notification bell for you to get more updates related to something like this and also in my next video i'm going to do something amazing so i would like you guys to just stay tuned watch from start to the end and just keep um checking up on the channel because i do upload video two weeks every two two weeks you see i come up with a new video and I upload video also you can um if you're interested in um getting the domain and hosting please don't forget to check the description link and you can use the description link there to get a domain and hosting uh thank you for watching this tutorial stay tuned and remain blessed